I'm Lissandra with Rub and Restore, and today I'm going to show you how to deal with all these brass tacks without having to pull them out. I'm changing this golden leather to an emerald green. Uh, this is an absorbent semi-aniline leather, so it's going to drink up the color really quickly. As such, I'm actually working with uh, Rub and Restore color, but I've diluted it considerably with clear prep and finish so it will disperse better. If you were working with a non-absorbent leather, you might want to stick with just pure color from the start because uh, it's going to get better coverage and do a little experimentation. So the logic in, a, in approaching this is to use a brush and dip it in your color, wipe it on really quickly. Before it begins to dry, get it off the tops of the nails. Rub and Restore finishes don't stick very well to metal anyway, but if you do it while it's still wet, it comes off very easily. With a non-absorbent leather, you might also kind of wipe it off the leather itself, but with a, so you have to have a little more finesse, work in smaller sections. Uh, with an absorbent leather, it's gonna be an easy job for me. In the past, I have applied the color and taken a spray bottle of water and done a single spritz and take, or taken a damp rag and just kind of wiped it off the tops of the nails. But my new favorite method actually comes from Alex at Again Leather in Illinois. He says, use your brush to apply it, get another brush that's a much stiffer bristle, make sure this one's dry and just use it to wick off the color. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna take my dry brush and just quickly wick it off.